Hey, what's going on guys? I'm going to do a video showing a workflow using Cascador to import and, and fix uh, Rococo or any mocap data really. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys the import function because I know some people have had issues with this. Um, so let's start with Rococo Studio. Okay. Inside Rococo Studio, what you want to export this as is using the Unreal Engine 4 preset. And you'll know why uh, very soon, why I'm going to use this. It's because inside Cascador, we want to utilize their pre-made rigs that they already have created. And they have one created for the UE4 skeleton. So I basically went here, exported the clips using the preset here. All right, and now we're in Cascador. I have a new scene open. And what I'm going to do is just drag the FBX that I exported. So let's grab one of these. Uh, I'm going to choose bombing. Okay, drag it over, drop it in, and it's going to look a little jacked up. Not exactly sure why, but if you go into the joint mode, you'll see the animation on the skeleton is fine. You know, it's just that the mesh is jacked up. Um, that's totally fine. We're going to go to 800 just you know increasing so we can cover the entire animation and now what I'm gonna do is box select joints and you want to be in joint mode by clicking here if you're not in that already joint mode okay I box selected all of the joints and then I'm gonna come down here start with zero or actually wherever you want your animation to start from let's say let's say I only want to start from here Okay, start from that frame, drag it all, select all the animation frames you want. You can do a control shift C, copy interval. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a new scene because I want to use their pre-made uh, template here, UE4 mannequin. Okay. So they do have the UE5 many as well, but the thing is in Rococo, we can't export as UE5 just yet. But if you do have your animation or mocap on a different skeleton here, um, you can actually choose the UE5 many. But I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. Okay, and, and see the reason why I want to use the Manny, uh, the UE4 mannequin is because it's already rigged up. If I had exported using Newton or any other skeleton preset, I would have to come into Cascador and I would have to create a rig, which I don't think is that difficult because they do have an auto rig kind of um, thing, but I just haven't figured out how to use it yet. But they do have tutorials on that, so definitely check it out. But for me, um, just to keep things simple, I'm going to use the UE4 mannequin template here. Down here, I'm going to increase this to cover my animation file. So at least 8, um, you know, I think it was, only, it was only like 500 or something. But make that longer. And then, same thing, go in here. You want to be in the joint mode. Box select all of them. And now, I'm going to paste the interval. Control Shift V, if you want to do the hotkeys. And there. Okay, never mind. You have to drag this out. To cover at least however long you're copying over. So for me, it was definitely not more than 700. Okay, 700. Now let's try that again. Edit, paste interval. see what happened okay now we have our bombing animation push X to play okay and now I can actually use Cascador to do you know cleanup I'm gonna leave the links to their mocap cleanup tutorial but they have some really cool tools to um, do cleanup, and you can use it like their auto um, auto pose mode, which uh, I'm still learning. 
but I just want to show you guys how to actually bring in your animation um, to do the cleanup because uh, it, is, it is a little tricky I think um, but if you do it this way using the man UE4 mannequin you'll get your animation here do your cleanup you know change up the animation whatever and then from here you can just export um, the animation export FBX you know I believe you have to do the um, the scene okay and then once you export this animation to bring it into Unreal you're just going to import that FBX um, inside Unreal if you're not using the UE4 skeleton you will have to do a retargeting process to your custom character alright thanks guys bye